Hey, so here is this new app called Gather, which is a social networking app. You can see it's in the top charts in US App Store as of right now. And yeah, so I think it was launched by one of the former Trump team members. You can read here in Politico or some other websites some information that it was uh, launched by former spokesman Jason Miller and it's a new social media and it's uh, as an alternative to big tech uh, social media apps and officially it will be launched <clears throat> on July 4th at 10 a.m. in US time. <clears throat> so the idea basically is that uh, people are looking for some alternatives to official big social media apps like uh, uh, Twitter or Facebook. Some of people consider uh, like Twitter, some other apps like very left, left uh, winning uh, apps. And uh, therefore there were some apps like Parler or Mivi or some other apps where uh, people were more on the right side of the spectrum. And yeah, so this is one of those apps which tries to get into that audience. And yeah, Parlor app went viral um, and all of that. Uh, so let's just have a quick overview how it looks like right now. It's like super minimalistic design. It looks super simple. Basically, you create an account here. Um, and that's that's about it so that's the feed it looks like twitter then you can just search for people uh, search for different hashtags add some people follow them go to different accounts um yeah of course there are a lot of like supporters of former president and then you have your account um uh, you can just go to your account you will see all your posts here replies your media your likes you can edit your profile, add the username, add your bio, add your website, add your profile picture. Then you can just share your profile in the top right. Um, and of course you can create a post. So to create a post, uh, you can just write something. You can add image or GIF in the bottom left and there is 777 character limit and then you can just send it and then this is your post, then you can comment, you can retweet it, you can just pin to your profile, you can delete all of that um, and then just search and that's it. Um, then you can go to settings, you can log out. Here are all the languages available. So there are multiple Chinese uh, dialects. There is English, Spanish, French, you know, probably Japanese, not sure. You can change password if you want. Then there is like a privacy, so you can mute or block people. So yeah, on this app, yeah, if you just go to someone, uh, you can just tap in top right and then you can just mute or block uh, someone. So that's the app, super simplistic, minimalistic design, um, nothing else. Uh, probably more features will be added to th this app on July 4th later in the journey. So that is the idea of the app, basically. Hope that was helpful.